Hello, night dwellers, Jacksons. For those of you who are awake this midnight, am I going to even post this video this night? No, I post it in the morning. I'd already greet now for midnight. Muna Coletta, can you collect good morning? Hmm, I want to go into this topic, and it's coming from the, the sweetest part of my heart, you know? <laughs> Wait, do I thought Kosi was like giving vibes of serving the bank breakfast earlier today, earlier yesterday, rather. Mm? When she started talking about Yemi, blah, 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 Yemi this, Yemi that, right? Now, I'm guessing it was because of conversations about Yemi or literally to talks about Yemi. That's why they started avoiding each other after the kiss about two, three days ago. Now, let me come back to where I'm heading at. So, of course, after the party last night, Kosi and Justin had to sit around the eating area and were having a conversation while taking some drinks. And it was about Yemi and the band. Now, um, from the point of Justin, he was saying that he feels like for the past one week or two, um, Kosi has been letting her guard down little by little. And it's so evident to everybody that they cannot even hide it. Now, when she said this, <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll, I'll get back to what I wanted to say. So, and he was like, like, and the main reason why he's saying it is he feels like it's not cool, especially if she claims she has a connection or she was building something with someone else. Of course, we obviously know that she's referring to, he's referring to Yemi as part of close something he, she's trying to build and then he is referring to the bang when he's saying she's been letting her guard down but of course for him he's not the best person to have such conversations with because for him he's the kind of person that you know likes moving from one person to the other he has never really been in a relationship now this he said was because it was based on the kind of friends and kind of place he grew up nobody has necessarily been in a serious relationship more than three months now, in Kosi's own defense and response, she said that, um, well, that's the place she is right now. She's not going to tie her eggs down to one basket, sort of. You know, she's taking it slowly and see where, wherever it leads. But of course, initially she had had a conversation with him, the bank, you know, saying that, you know what, he he likes her and she obviously has interest in him but she doesn't want to you know push this or go all the way because of course he yemi was there you know that's why she didn't like him or she didn't want to push stuff with him and i'm like okay girl so basically you're waiting for yemi to be out of the show or you to be out of the show and then you can later build on something with the bang. After all, you were the one who revealed it. They had such a conversation four to five weeks ago with the bang that you guys should build something good, something better outside of the house. Make nobody come come here and say, Oh, Lady Jackson, you're saying this. Oh, Lady Jackson, you're saying this. Your queen said it. Mm hmm. And she's been calling the boy child this small boy, just like Olivia was doing. But then she's doing the most because that's not even all. So this night, after having got the conversations and for me, like she's avoiding him, she left her place to go look for him where he was sleeping. Jejeli, or girl was sleeping. Jejeli, she went there to go and collect hug and kisses. She went to go and collect cuddle and kiss. <laughs> Now, that was why after they were done with the intense moment of smooshing, when he came out to go and, you know, gloss up his lips to, you know, <laughs> look fresh, then Tati was like, um, the bang, you're looking frustrated. But of course, the one biggest operator, Blue Ava knew what was happening and she was like, no, the bang is operating. He pelling reiterated it. And I'm like, the bang operates cozy in and out as much as he wants because that is content and that could possibly get you to the finale or even win. Cozy, well, girl, <laughs> be deceiving yourself. Whatever you want to do, do. We don't care. Just bring us content because whatever pretense you were having before as being the good girl, ah, uh, 
you're the baddest girl. <laughs> baddest indeed. Now, this now brings me to my conversation about Canada Junior and Tati because... So, have y'all noticed something? For the past few days and literally almost throughout the week, we've not had maximum Canada Junior and Tati moments. Now, yes, we see them in the morning and during the day a bit, just little, little bits, three, five minutes, and that's done on their screen time. At night, something similar, but not major. Now, it seems as though this week, now, like this week, they just rounded up, we had the almost like the lowest screen time for Kanaka Jr. and Taxi. And now I'm suspecting, I think I know why. And I'm thinking, I only suspect and think, um, why am I seeing a lot of things? Well, I believe that the people who are having to get to see the screen time of Kanaka Jr. and Tati are those on Showmax. Now, for those of you who don't know, Showmax gets to show exclusive content from Big Brother, whether Big Brother Titans or Big Brother Niger, however, right? And I think most of um, Kosi's um, Coffee with Kosi show was shifted to that place, yes. Now, back to the reason why I suspect or feel uh, Kanaga Jin and Tati have been giving little screen times lately. It is because these two are suspectedly, obviously doing the do. <laughs> because I literally was up a week last night, this night, just to be able to get to your conversation, get to understand and see how they're progressing. And there was no screen time. There was little to no screen time. And the only time that the camera even showed them, it was an intense, heavy breathing, heavy gasping, lip smacking and hand movements. I'm being honest. Just a few days ago, was it for yesterday or yesterday? I posted a video where some people were even telling me down to the Facebook page and even on YouTube and saying, hey, show us proof until we see proof before we believe. Excuse me. I will not be posting the pictures or the videos of what happened in Big Brother Titans anymore in my videos. But if you want to see this content, I'm sure Twitter people used to post it. I am sure that those on Instagram will post it. So I enjoy it today. But I don't joke with whatever I see. Just a few days ago, was it the or yesterday? We saw where Kanago Jr. was gasping for air as they were lined up. They never even go light so full. He was gasping for air and that his hand was moving up and down somewhere. Intense up and down. The other time, about two weeks ago, that video, I've taken it down from the YouTube channel. Maybe it's still on the Facebook. But then, we saw a, a Tati was gasping for air. Literally, this one, the camera was directly over them. And she was gasping for air. His hand has gone somewhere. I was doing stuff. Just this last night, this night that I'm speaking to you, they covered themselves completely and it was all gasping, lip smacking, deep air, <laughs> oh God. hand movement. I believe this is the reason that they've been giving little screen time. Now, in South Africa, they might be showing it, but in Nigeria, there is a huge control over, you know, you know, rated stuff being available for the consumption of general public. Now, that is the reason because they don't even talk. There was no conversation. Rara, maybe they had a conversation with this seat, but it was the intensity of what was going on. So the cameraman had to change it from them because it was all heavy breathing covering everywhere. Hmm. Let some ball in carry belly for the show. Ew, don't you carry belly, oh, belly. Anyways, guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell with some self notification in every post I make. Don't forget to share comments down below and also share if this video. Okay, I know I'm bite stung. Anyways, I'm going to see you on the next one. Don't forget, today is the eviction show and it's going to be dramatic. Abuka is going to overturn tables, shake ships, and of course, we're going to see the unexpected when it comes to the eviction. So stay tuned. <laughs>